Hello guys, in this video I want to explain about how to deploy Spring Boot application on EC2 instance. As the first step, let's try to create an EC2 instance by going to the EC2 service. Okay, if you observe here, you got the EC2 dashboard and the number of instances running here are zero. Now let's try to create an instance first. Okay, after that, let's try to create some Spring Boot application and deploy it on the instance. Okay. Let's wait for a few seconds. Yeah. Uh, let me click on this launch instance here we need to give name for our instance let me give some name my spring boot instance okay here we have to select some uh, os image okay you can select anything but it should be from the free tier otherwise aws will charge you be careful guys while you are choosing this Okay, and here we have to select some um, uh, instant type, but here we don't have any other option uh, uh, other than the this t two dot micro because uh, it is the only thing which AWS is providing for free. Uh, that's a chargeable, so we cannot change it here. Here we have to create a new key pair. I can say like it is for authentication purpose. If I want to copy my jar file from local to my EC2 instance, or if I want to connect from my local to the EC2 instance, I need some uh, key for authentication. For that purpose, we need this key pair. Okay. Let me give some name here my Spring Boot instance key. Let me click on this create pair button. Now a key is created and downloaded into my local. Okay. Let me click on the launch instance button. Now, if you observe, a instance is getting created. Meanwhile, let's do one thing. Let's try to create a Spring Boot project. Okay, here let's select the build tool as Maven. And let me change the artifact name to Spring Boot EC2. Let me click on the generate. Here, my instance got created. Right here, even my project got downloaded. Let me try to import this project into my Spring Tool Shoot. Okay, sorry, it's Arch, you guys. When we download the Spring Boot project, it will be in RK format. Let it get loaded. Yeah. Let me untick it here and let me click on finish. Now it will be loaded into my STS. And meanwhile, what we can do means let's try to connect to my EC2 instance from here. Okay, if you observe, we have connect button, right? If you click on that, we can connect to EC2 instance from Chrome only. I mean from the browser. Let me do that now. yeah okay if you want to deploy a spring boot application we need java to be installed on our ec2 instance right let's check if you have java installed or not it will not be installed guys because it is a pure os image you don't have anything but i'm just checking to show you here we don't have java right now let me try to install java here by using this command Okay, if you are using Java 8, you have to change the image. Okay, if you are uh, using Java 17, then you need to use this Java 17 Amazon Corridor. Based on your requirement, you have to install Java. Okay, and let's wait for a few seconds. It is still downloading. Meanwhile, let me do one thing. Let me try to add some endpoint here because if after deploying on AWS EC2 instance, we need to check right whether our application is properly deployed or not. The rate rest controller. Okay, let me add some endpoint here.
let me add some method which returns string okay public string get data return some string here let's say hello world okay now let me try to run this application one to just check verify that this endpoint is working fine there is no issue with this otherwise uh, we'll end up with wasting so much of time when we deploy it on ec2 instance okay even here my java got installed on my ec2 instance right let me click on our remind me again let me try to hit this in my browser yeah i'm getting the response now let me do one thing let me give some final name to my jar file okay i don't want my application to generate a name i want to give some name so application will generate the warp jar file based on the name given by me if you use the final name tag what happens is like if you specify some name here a spring boot application will uh, generate the jar file based on the name which we given in the final name tag okay let me try to run this maven build here run as maven build clean install me click on apply and run now let's wait for a few seconds my jar file is getting generated okay and now i want to copy this jar file to my ec2 instance okay to run it i can say like for deploying purpose okay let's use this command actually Don't worry guys, I'll just uh, paste these commands in my description so you can uh, use that. Okay. Let me click on refresh and if you observe, my jar file got generated. Now let's check it in system explorer. Now let me try to copy it into my downloads. Okay, it got copied now let me copy this jar file into ec2 instance before executing this command let's check if you have any file okay here in the current working directory our current working directory is home ec2 user we don't have any files right then now let me try to execute this command and let's wait for a few seconds now what it will do means it will try to transfer the files from local to there is some issue here authenticate host yeah now we need to say s here and click on enter so if you observe the file is getting transferred right to confirm Let's try to list out it here. Right now, the file got transferred from our local to EC2 instance. Now, I'll explain this command. Here, if you observe carefully, I'm saying SCP I find I space the key which I downloaded earlier for authentication purpose and the path of the jar file which I have. This is the IP address. Of my EC2 instance, and this is the path where I want to send my file from local to the EC2 instance. In EC2 instance, I want to uh, copy my file from local to to this part. I hope you guys understand. Now, let me try to deploy this application here. Spring Boot iPhone AWS star chart. Okay, now the application will get started. Meanwhile, if I want to access this application, I cannot do it directly. I need to change inbound rules in the security. Okay, now let me try to edit that. AWS by default 
don't allow us to access the application i can say like uh, uh, the deployed application we need to add some inbound rules here i can select edit inbound rules and let me click on the add rule button here add the port 8080 now let me try to save the rules here now let me go back to the instance and click on the url right let's wait for a few seconds it will take some time to load yeah here i need to add a zero a zero the port to access our application see i'm getting the response okay i hope you guys understood everything like how to create application and ec2 instance and uh, deploy spring boot application on aws don't worry guys i'll just paste these commands in description so you can utilize these things okay if you have any queries please comment it in comment section thank you for watching my video